what we're up against today is a lot of changing influences in technology and understanding. And I had made the joke, you know, we're going to do 60 minutes of mouth to mouth resuscitation today. But uh, what we're really doing is a reprogramming of our minds because everything is moving so quickly here. Uh, a little bit of the wellness side of things is that um, we're able to heal ourselves with our own mind. And quickly, uh, as we go into understanding the placebo effects, we realize through wars that the amount of medicines that we have would quickly run out. And to help these wounded warriors get through the, the battle, uh, morphine was necessary in World War I and World War II. And when, uh, when the supplies ran thin, they used saline. And saline in the drip for morphine uh, worked just as well as the morphine did. So that's where it created the placebo effect. And a lot of the times uh, with our own healing, if we're taking something or doing something or doing some type of energetic pattern that we think we're healing ourselves, we actually are healing ourselves. Typically with what, with what we've seen with uh, standard medicine is that um, a lot of the pills are made from uh, petroleum. So the stuff we use to drive our cars with is a lot of what is being used, especially uh, the little capsules and things like that. Uh, plastics, plastics, ingesting plastics and, and throwing off our endocrine system. So uh, this is not a spiel against Western, Eastern integrative medicine at all. Some of the best stuff with, uh, that you'll see in the medical industry is with, with what Colleen's doing. Quickly helping people that have catastrophic injury and getting them back. But today we're talking about uh, the healing environment around you, you know, what you eat, uh, how you regenerate with how you sleep, and uh, of course, getting some exercise. Yeah, there's the, the internal environment, the external environment, it all comes to sync. Right, and so just a simple pyramid here. I'll put sleep at the top, put exercise here. So sleep, our, I'm very familiar with that. It's our, our technology that we'll go over today, but we're regenerating ourselves during sleep. And if we don't get enough sleep, it's very difficult to completely regenerate. Of course, our bodies always have to catch up to our level of stress anxiety and trauma during the day but sleep is a forgotten one so we could probably spend all day talking about sleep because the you know if you're not you can be getting sleep but not quality sleep right um, with our gadgets and our phones it's disrupting our sleep and i'll prove that to you today with the meters on top of that getting enough exercise and movement in the body to push out the toxins, get more oxygen going, even consider getting some more sunlight and going outside, getting the vitamin D that we need. Uh, nutrition, most medical doctors only have four hours of nutrition. So if that tells you anything uh, in the field you're gonna go into, that if, if, if it's just gonna be prescribing people medicines, and not going toward some of the key foundations of how our environment gets better. So this is really on a level of alchemy, uh, internal alchemy in the body. The nutrition is really important, and I just wanted to, to look at these three pillars. It's very simple to remember, but these three are part of the internal, external environment around you. and. Uh, a lot of the technology that we've created works perfect for a hospital, but it's at the level it, it does so well, it's probably not going to be allowed in the hospital. We're made up of anywhere from 7 to 40 trillion cells. I don't even know if most of the medical industries even know what number is correct. So sometimes I hear 7, sometimes I hear 30 trillion, sometimes I hear over 50 trillion cells in the human body. Look, I don't know. Every, everyone tells you something different. Uh, it goes back to 
giving your cells what they need. And the cells, of course, they need antioxidants. So think in think in terms of the opposite in this in this instance with cells. Uh, a positively charged cell is a free radical. It's damaging all the cells in its vicinity. You can also think of a free radical as static, static in the body. And free, ra uh, free radicals cause the stress between our shoulders. So if you feel someone that's got tight shoulders, it really means that they have a lot of oxidative stress. So this uh, healthy balance cell, it's, uh, it's not really negative charge, but um, a negatively charged is the opposite. We think of negative as a negative person, but in this sense, negative charge is really, is really this. This is an antioxidant. So <clears throat> when, you, when you give an antioxidant, which is really an electron, the cell becomes balanced. So anytime we're talking about getting aging or getting older, we're talking about this situation. And if you can think of your cell phone being charged, when you plug in your cell phone, the green, gar the green, uh, green bar goes all the way up until it's full, right? And uh, the opposite of, of the charge is being empty, right? So that would be, in that essence, it would be a positively charged. And the antioxidant is very important because an antioxidant, it really is an electron. It's that little missing electron to balance out the cells. So this is a, a great technology to sleep on, but what happens when I connect to this technology, the electrical body, this little plug plugs into this uh, circuit board it it plugs into the ground it's so important that we we ground so during the first industrial revolution when they were making cars in the u.s they fi they found out that factory jobs were killing people too they weren't grounded they were on the machine all day the machine was throwing off the static electricity the machines were breaking and then the people were breaking so they realized way back then that just having a concrete floor wasn't good enough. So I'd like for you guys to, I'd like to show you guys, you guys can come up here probably. Come up so you can see that people are This technology here is a circuit board. What I'll do is just clip it to this conductive fabric. I will turn it on AC. AC current is what Nikola Tesla created. That's how I can measure. And so I just wanted to show you guys right now in this room, there's uh, actually on the millivolt side, it's very low. And uh, when I touch this piece of metal, it's going to measure what's running through my body. So it went up probably two to three hundred percent. And when I connect to the technology, so basically that drop right there and static charge is neutralizing my free radical damage. It's giving me we're saying an antioxidant, an electron.